What's going on guys, Mac Junkie here and welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to increase your FPS in Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. I know I said I would make this video a while ago but I wanted to wait until a few more optimization updates came out and there has been a big one released recently which did help out a lot so I will show you guys the improvement of that update as well as some launch options and some other changes you can make to make this game run faster so uh, let's go ahead and get into it now as you can see I have this moving background so obviously I would disable something like this when I'm playing a game this is just uh, really for the video's sake to be an aesthetic thing or a visual thing so what you of course want to do is disable any background applications you can find a lot of them in here uh, so if you're not, you know, I can, I can close the Dell update, I don't need OneDrive open, you know, I don't need, I don't need my VPN, I can uh, quit that app, just free up as much RAM as you can. Also, another app that can free RAM is Razer Cortex, which I have a video about on this channel, so there's a link in the description to that video, and Razer Cortex is an app that lets you free up RAM and get as much RAM as possible, as well as optimize your game settings for you to make it run better, so definitely go and check that video out to free up even more RAM. Another thing you can do is optimize your launch options, so what you're going to want to do is go to PUBG on your uh, library right click on it and then go to properties and click set launch options and then you're going to want to put these these are going to be in the description uh, use all available cores will uh, make sure it utilizes all your cpus cores malloc equal system stands for memory allocation and then that makes it so your system will decide this makes a uh, your system use as much ram as possible sm4 also does the same thing this is just there's two of them in here just in case one of them does not work but make sure, uh, SM4 is also subjective. Some people have had FPS loss from this and some people gain FPS. So make sure you test out this command to see if it works or, or see if it helps or hurts you. Max mem is uh, dependent on how much RAM you have. So if you have eight gigabytes of RAM, you would put six because six, uh, you know, two, two gigabytes of RAM is used by your system. And then you're going, to, you're going to want to close all your background applications. If you're lucky, maybe it'll use one and a half gigabytes of RAM. So you just want to close all your background apps and uh, make sure that you set your max mem allocation to 6,000, which is 6,000 megabytes. Now, if you have 12 gigabytes of RAM like me, then I would do 10,000 because, again, two gigabytes is used by your system. And if you have 16, then go ahead and do 14,000. So guys, after you do that, just click OK and then close out of there. Now another thing you guys can do, now this is only, this only applies to Steam users, unfortunately. There is, another, there, is there are ways to do this for AMD as well. But uh, I have an NVIDIA GPU, so I can only show you the NVIDIA uh, way to do this. So if you have an NVIDIA card, you simply right click and go to NVIDIA Control Panel. And uh, that does take a while to open for some people especially for me. All right, so once that's open, go ahead and uh, go to your program settings, go to manage 3D settings, and then go to program settings. And once you're in there, you're gonna wanna add player unknowns battlegrounds to that. So it's probably not gonna be here by default. So click the add button, and you're gonna scroll on here until you find TSL game. So there it is, TSL game, and you can see PUBG's little title right there. So go ahead and click that, and then click add selected program, and it will add this to uh, your little options. So now you scroll down here and you just want to copy the settings. Most of these are set by default. Make sure you set your maximum pre render frames to 1. Uh, so your CUDA GPU set that to all. Anti aliasing mode, turn it off. Anti aliasing setting off, or I think these are just by default because they're grayed out. And then uh, anisotropic filtering, FXAA, and anti aliasing, turn all those off. So this will basically force. Uh, your settings to go even lower than PUBG's actual very low setting. So uh, then your uh, oh, open GL render GPU auto select. Again, a lot of these are just set like this by default. I'm just going over them in case uh, they weren't set by default. Uh, power management mode set to prefer maximum performance. Make sure you set it to prefer maximum performance. Shader cache use global setting on, and then texture quality fil texture filtering quality set that to high performance. So basically what that will do is it will make sure, well, I mean, yeah, high performance. It was set like that. But make sure that it's set to use high performance. So that'll basically, uh, it'll ra it'd rather go for more FPS instead of making your textures look better. And again, texture filtering, trilinear optimization. I leave that on because I do not think it's an adverse effect. I believe turning it off doesn't really do much for you. So you can go and leave that on. 
then threaded optimization on auto, triple buffering is turned off, vertical, vertical sync is turned off, and virtual reality pre-rendered frames is set to 1. So that's all for those settings. Go ahead and click apply. There will be an apply button if you change the settings. You click apply. That'll take a little bit to apply, and then you're set. So guys, that's basically it for there. I'm, I already disabled my moving background and everything, so I'm going to go ahead and hop into PUBG, and I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so here we are in game. I am playing at 1080p, and as you can see, we're achieving about a steady 60 ribbon at about 55 and staying there and this is in the uh, the starter lobby which is usually pretty laggy so already we are seeing huge uh, performance uh, performance fixes in the optimization update usually I'd have to play at 1600 by 900 and even then I would still barely be getting 60 FPS so we'll go ahead and test 1600 by 900 too because that's also a fairly decent resolution again you want a really good uh, resolution for this kind of game because of you know all the long distance fighting and all that but Overall, it's not too bad. As you can see, you can see all those texture details that we added in the NVIDIA launch options kicking in. You can see how low it put those. Now again, um, the I forget, I keep forgetting to uh, talk about the specs of my computer. I'm running on a GTX 960M with a quad-core i5 6300HQ running at 2.3 gigahertz, and it can overclock to 3.2 gigahertz, and uh, I have 12 gigs of RAM, which I already stated, and I have DDR3 memory, 12 gigs of DDR3. So that's basically my specs there. I have, as you can see, you can see my temperatures up in the top left. So you can see my temperature sitting around 75. Now again, we are playing at full 1080p. So I don't know why I always go to the ruins. Oh, okay, there's a little bit of a lag spike there because I had to load some stuff in. But we went back up to about 40, 40, 50-ish. So if it gets too bad, we will lower those quality settings even more. Oh, we're on the ground. We did <coughs> kind of go back down to about 50. 42-ish. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm actually going to double check my settings. For some reason, uh, the, the rocks actually did not get the um, did not get updated with those texture things we put into NVIDIA's options here. They do definitely look a little bit more textured. The ground isn't, but the rocks are. That's kind of weird. I'm going to go ahead and check my settings real quick. You can see them here. I have everything set to very low. The uh, screen scale is actually at 95. should have that at 100. Even though that's a little bit more intensive, that's just a better way to have it. Motion blur and V-Sync are also turned off. So let's go ahead and come back out of there. So what I'm waiting for right now is my CPU to turbo boost up to 3.2 gigahertz, because that will usually bump me up to that 60 FPS mark. And hopefully I don't die too early on. Oh my gosh. Hold on. What? Jump, punch him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no way. Oh my gosh. I got... Okay, there's another person. Hold on. No, where's his gun? Shh. Where's his gun? Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Um, all right. We got to be careful here. Uh, any bandages? No. Backpack. A vest. Do not see him, but I think he would... I think I heard him. I don't know where he is. I did hear him though, I know that. Is there an upstairs? I'm gonna do this while the plane is flying over. He might be upstairs. I do not see him here though. Okay. I am hearing footsteps though. So far we're getting really good temperatures, 68 Celsius, 71 Celsius. Uh, I did recently clean a bunch of dust out of my laptop's fan, so that did help out my temperatures quite a bit. But as you can see we are very GPU limited in this game, we're at 100% GPU usage and about 60% CPU usage. 
And so I do not know exactly why 1080p is not reaching 60 FPS. It could be because of using Shadow Play, but usually Shadow Play does not have that big of a performance hit. Alright. I'm pretty sure I heard someone. I mean, I know I heard someone. I just don't know if they left me or if they're still here. Alright, hopefully it doesn't come upstairs. I'm going to change to 1600 by 900. I don't know if this affects the recording, but I'm going to try it. Yeah, we're still recording. Okay. Alright, so now we got a steady 60. Without too much of a, you know, degrade in quality. Still looks okay. I just can't wait for them to optimize this game. Because I got GTA on my laptop, and it runs very well. The game is really well optimized. Because GTA... I mean, it's been around for a lot longer, so it had a lot more time to be optimized. Because I can run GTA on this computer at, like, medium-high settings at 60 FPS, locked 60. It doesn't even drop below for explosions. So this game does have a lot of room for optimization, which is what I was kind of waiting for. I have no idea where they are. I am in the circle, though. I am about the middle. I might just start heading this way. I'm really nervous though, just to go for a swim. I'm just going to try and find an area to hide and then just kind of stay there. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, that's someone else shooting at someone else. not know where. I know they're over at this house. They have to be over at these houses. I don't know if one of them died though. Okay, see that? I see that muzzle flash. I don't know how I got that lucky, but it happened. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, that's, that's with a suppressor? That's really quiet. Oh, oh no! Oh, where? Where? Hold on, wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, he's from over there. I'm on the wrong side of the mountain. I'm, I need to run. I need to run. Oh, no. I got so lucky with that long-range kill, though. I didn't even really see him. I just kind of guessed from his muzzle flash, and I still got him. But, oh, man, we are getting shot at, and we have half health with a silenced pistol. That's not really good. It's not too good. I'm just going to run. I hear him in the house. Oh, he's running around. He's probably going to come up here soon. And I just hope that I can get him. Yeah, there he is. Oh, it was blocked. Oh, that's not good. I wish I had my stun. Oh, that's a smoke. Oh, I don't have any ammo for that shotgun. Oh no! Oh, can he see me? Can he see me? I don't know. Oh boy. Oh man, I'm out, I'm out. Oh no, I can't. Okay, we'll close that door. Is that a first aid? No, it's not. Oh boy, this is not good. Maybe he thinks I left, hopefully. Nope. Oh my gosh, no way. Oh, is there someone else? No way. I can't. How did I do that? Dude, he must be so mad right now. No jo oh my, how'd I do that, dude? I got so lucky. Man, he had everything, too. Oh, I can't use that. Uh, let's use the energy drink. Okay. Well, I'm a happy camper, and that guy's probably not. All right, I can take the 4X and... Oh my, wow. Look at all the stuff he had. Okay, I'm going to take his AKM. I'll take his ballistic mask, because why not? And all of his 7.62. 
I'll take his 12 gauge. Did he have a better backpack? No. Oh yeah, I did. Cool. Well, we just got him. The SG bolt loops. I don't need the pistol anymore, I guess. Even though it's done, it's served me well, I do not need it. Take the choke. Okay, put the four times on there. Bullet loops. Choke. Extended. Nice, dude. Be good. Alright. Reload all the guns. That was really, really lucky. I thought he had us for sure because we had like zero health. Okay, I got him. Unlucky guy. There might be a guy in the house though. Like, I don't know still. I don't know if he stayed here or not. You know? Got It's coming right now though, so I gotta leave. Oh, there it comes. Oh boy, that's not good. I'm really close to it though. I'm just gonna leave that guy behind. I'm running, hopefully he won't see me. Then I'm gonna find a tree or something and hide because there's nine people. Oh boy, this is not good. I might die, but I might be able to get into that play zone. Just gotta hope. There's a dude right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, I saw him, but I couldn't really stop. I would have died. That was hilarious. Anyways, guys, that's basically it. As you saw, the performance didn't change as much as I thought it would, but we did receive some FPS increase. So if this did help you guys out, please be sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.